So I hope isolation is trading everyone okay. Um, it's Easter Monday and I've got one kid in bed and the other one's kind of running around playing outside. I'm going to do a video tonight where I put together a small pedal board in a situation where I won't be using my own amp, my big kind of rig, which I think I've got videos of already. Um, I won't be using that. If I was to use somebody else's amp, like a straight clean amp with no gain or anything, I'd need to build a, a tiny small pedal board to use in that situation where I haven't got my own stuff and my big main board with me. So before I make that, I've stripped all the pedals off so I can work out what I need and what I want to use and what power supply, etc. But before I do that, I thought I'd ask my four-year-old, Ayla, to see completely not knowledgeable about guitar stuff or anything, what, how, why would she be, she's four, uh, to pick pedals for me and put them in an order she likes based on what they look like. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll take all the pedals off, put them down in front of her, and we'll see how it goes. So this is Ayla, my daughter, she's four. <laughs> And let's see what pedal boy she makes for me, shall we? And we'll come back and test it later. Hi, Ayla. Hi. Right, so, what I want you to do is pick whichever ones you like the look of and then put them on an odd, in order on there for me. And then we're going to see what that sounds like later, okay? Okay. So you're starting with that one. Why, why did you pick that one? Okay, next. So we've gone for gone for two boosts. <laughs> I have to leave them a little bit of space apart because when they get connected, they need some space to put the cables in the middle. So we need leave them about that much room apart, darling. Okay. How are we gonna go away? Uh, this one. Ooh, octave drop. That makes everything really deep. So because this one's got the top thing, we can leave a little bit more space there. Okay. Okay. Now what's next? Uh, you can maybe fit one. two more, just two more, okay? That one, okay. Let's go in there, is it? Um, and then that one. Okay, so. So happy with your choices? Hmm. Do you me to tell you what to do? Yeah. Right. So this one makes everything a bit louder. I know. And this one makes everything a bit louder. It does. And this one makes it deeper. That's right. I don't know what that one does. This one takes what you're playing, copies it, and makes it sound a little bit higher or a little bit lower. And so it sounds like two people, two guitars at once. Oh, and this one this echoes. This one is echoes. And um, make it louder and the echo um, longer. That's right. Okay, so now we'll see what this sounds like, won't we? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, utility room. Hi, Ella. Hi. You've chosen your guitar pedals? Yeah. Yep. You've picked them on the board? Yeah. You've, you've wired them all up yourself, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I, I did that for you, didn't I? Okay, so you went with the LPB1 boost, which makes everything louder. You went with the Behringer preamp booster, which also makes things louder and can control stuff. You went with an octave drop, which makes things lower. A harmony pedal, which splits the sound and copies it and makes it sound different. And you went with an echo or a delay. And now, we're going to see what they sound like, aren't we? We're on. We're plugged in. We've got our model amp there. It's a clean... Now, why don't you press any of the buttons and we'll see what happens. Okay. So what you put on there is a delay, a harmonizer, and a boost. Ayla, why don't you fiddle with these controls and see what happens? Okay. Right, what you've done there is you've turned everything down. Oh. Whoa. It's getting dark. 
Vielen Dank. Oh. Happy with that? Can I play your guitar? Uh, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Say bye, Ella. Bye. bye. So, so Ella's gone now, but what she's left me with isn't an entirely unusable board, considering she's five, like not yet five, and she completely just guessed. So the two boosts give like a really good, um, The delay. It's really breaky and crackly, but for a four year old making a pedal board from stuff you don't understand, I, would probably, I could use this. You could use that easy. Anyway, I think more pick, more guitarists should get their kids to pick their pedal boards for them. This is a good trend. Why has it not happened before? <laughs>